Bitcoin is dead and it's going to frickin' zero. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's May 11th, 2022, and in today's video, we got some CPI updates. Numbers were finally revealed earlier this morning. We got some Luna UST updates. And then last, more updates for Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin dead? I got some stuff to show you guys. But first, got my uh, happy dad, Seltzer. This is, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the Nelk Boys, this is some brand of uh, seltzer that they had uh, come out with or whatever, but uh, it's not bad. But, uh, man, after a day like this, whew, the last couple days, uh, market's been brutal to all of us, to all of us. We are down about 9.83% the last 24 hours. Let me just refresh this to make sure everything's good. Yeah, 9.83% the last 24 hours. Bitcoin's... 29,706 down 4%. ETH is down about 8.62% It's in about $2,144. We got uh XRP's down 17%, Cardano's down about 14%. Solana is down 22.8%. Everything's just getting wrecked, man. Let's see. Top gainers. <laughs> it's funny to see this is uh UST up about 4.03% and at 83 cents. You know that is Terra's stable coin <laughs> if you want to say you know 50 cent coin now it's been it's been hovering you know all over the place today uh dfi.money up two percent tron's up 2.79 percent but uh yeah the entire market pretty much has been red today let's see take a look at the top losers it's probably gonna be luna again yep down 93.12 percent sitting at a buck 16 uh rap luna's you know down 93 percent same exact thing down uh all right, it's at $1.16. Just everything's just getting wrecked. I'm not even going to go over it. Like I said, today is May 11th. Some of the holidays. Got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, National Eat What You Want Day. National Receptionist Day. National Foam Rolling Day. School Nurse Day. Technology Day. Third Shift Workers Day. Twilight Zone Day. Sabrina Carpenter in Black China. Who gives a crap about her? <laughs> Crypto Bubbles. A ginormous sea of red. We got for the top 100. Take a look at my favorites. Uh, I might be removing Luna here soon, but uh, I am swing trading it. I bought a little bit, a couple hundred dollars were at uh, like a buck twenty, I want to say. And if it goes below, you know, a dollar again, I'll probably gamble with it. You know, it's strictly just gambling, not financial advice. But uh, don't, you know, put in more than you can afford to lose. Type of thing. I could afford to lose, you know, a couple hundred bucks here and there. So that's just what I'm doing. L rounds down about 19.9%, $86. Wow. Insane. CKB's down 19.7%. Half a penny. Jeez. Doge is down 18%. Voyager token. Had a little pump the last hour. We're uh, at 86 cents. Still can't believe it's under $1. But yeah, entire markets are just getting wrecked. Total crypto market cap. We're at about one point. 28 trillion uh let me just see here man if we break this support right here we're just holding it we're going definitely gonna go down to about 952 billion to about 1.03 trillion that's definitely not good i'm uh, hoping we just hit this horizontal line right here and uh, we use that as a resistance to move back up but we'll get into that a little bit later let's refresh coin gecko because it always has the total market cap a little bit higher but my internet is a little wacky i hate when it does this even though it's shown full service but uh coin gecko now let's see what it's showing i'm just waiting for the top down about 8.8 percent sit about 1.3 trillion dollars we got uh, the bitcoin dominance though is up 43.81 percent you know everyone's scared to put all their money in alts and DeFi, all that stuff right now so the only stable thing uh is bitcoin pretty much everyone's returning to the good old bitcoin and uh usdc hopefully or tether who knows With all these stable coin craziness going on i don't even know anymore i just don't know 
Fear and Greed Index. No change from yesterday. I thought it was going to be a lot lower. I thought we were going to break 10, actually, for the first time in a while. But we are still in extreme fear. We are at a 12. Again, guys, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. My financial advice is probably a great time historically when we are in extreme fear territory in the long-term game. If you guys trade on you know, sentiment and fear and greed index, you're probably going to do pretty well. Also, the U.S. dollar currency index. I've been tracking this lately. Uh, whenever this is high, the whole crypto market is usually down, and we've been pretty much going sideways uh, since we had the FOMC meeting drop right here. Uh, actually went up a little bit. We're at about 103.95, but would love for this to cool down uh, just so we can see the whole crypto market go to the upside. Because if you do pull up the charts between the U.S. dollar currency index and Bitcoin, whenever this dollar index is down, Crypto or Bitcoin usually is on a nice little bull run or a nice uptrend. So still keeping an eye on that. All right. So jumping into the inflation numbers that came out earlier today, did show that inflation rate has slowed down for the first time in over eight months. It slowed to an 8.3%, which is the first decline in over eight months. Um, it was higher than expected increase. I do believe March was 8.5%. It was expected to be at 8.1%, but, you know, we came at 8.3% where the actual numbers, uh, the March reading was the highest since 1981, which is insane. So, although we didn't keep going up, we did slowly decrease inflation, which, hey, I'll take that. It's, it's better than nothing. So, uh, just get, you know, keep an eye on that because we want that to cool off, uh, just so hopefully the whole rest of the world's markets can start Getting back to normal, the traditional markets, everything's, you know, looking at inflation right now. But, hey, we went down a little bit. All right, next topic of discussion. We're talking about Luna and UST. So, Do Kwan did come out with something at about 6 a.m. Eastern time this morning, 6.10 uh, a.m. Eastern. Just uh, kind of like what the plan, the most much anticipated recovery plan, everything that was going to go. Um, I woke up to under a penny. Or not under a penny, under a dollar Luna. Right now, we're currently sitting at about a buck 16, down 93%. Let's see. So, let's see. Today is the 11th of May. I think around 06. When was it? Yeah, about right here, right after he announced it. It just kind of dipped all the way down to about 86 cents. And then it jumped right up a little bit to about $4.36. So, man, if anyone bought and you swing traded that and you sold around, you know, the three, two, three, four dollar mark he probably made a pretty good uh, swing trade right there but ever since that uh the uptrend we had since about 10 41 eastern earlier today it's been in nothing but a downtrend same thing with uh ust it's up 5.3 percent currently set 84 cents so it's coming back up a little bit which is um good to see but uh yeah we did dip down all the way to about 30 cents earlier this morning at about 09 but hey we're Coming back up to that resistance level, about $0.84, cents, what we're currently at right now. So, like I said, Do Kwan did come out with, you know, Dear Terror Community. I'm not going to go through the whole entire thing. It was about, uh, was it 14 or so <laughs> tweets, and then the comments were crazy because there was some stuff just showing how cocky he was, and I, didn't, I don't have any of those tweets pulled up. Why not? You can look it up, but karma's a B. Karma's a B. Long story short, eventually what his plan is, and it still really is, isn't a plan. There's a lot of questions, but the only way to is to spruce up the amount of Luna that was being minted every day. So they're just increasing and minting the supply, which will absorb the stablecoin supply that wants to exit before UST can start to repeg. There's no way around it, according to him. This potential increase in mint capacity would in turn allow the system to swiftly absorb UST. In addition to this, Quan also wants to bring in more exogenous capital to minimize the supply overhang on UST uh, require more research and exploration as it comes at a high cost to both UST as well as Luna holders. So I'm not quite sure they're ever going to gain confidence back in Luna. If I go back to CoinGecko, you can see that the max supply now shows infinity here on CoinGecko and the to total supply, if this is even accurate, nobody knows right now because they're still minting more is about 2.6 billion luna so if it ever does repeg back to the one ust one us dollar uh i don't think we're ever going to see levels of that 100 to 120 or whatever the all-time high was 
uh, about a month ago, $119. I don't know. It's strictly a gamble right now. Luckily, I feel bad for a lot of the people that got wrecked. It's very unfortunate. A lot of people were, I guess, committing suicide. Don't do that. Nothing is ever <laughs> should never get to that low point in your life. I'm, I'm, my DMs are open. There's a lot of other people out in crypto space. If you guys lost a boatload, just hit me up. I'd be glad to, uh, you know, just talk to you guys. But uh, a lot of people did get wrecked on this. Absolutely crazy what happened. Uh, I think I saw some tweets earlier today about what people were comparing this this big drop to, like kind of like the Mount Gox incident. Uh, I want to say that Simon, uh, the CEO of of Stormax, tweeted. But uh, yeah, it's just been crazy the last two days. So I don't know the path forward for Luna and what they're gonna do. But uh, they're just continuing to mint, mint to hopefully repeg UST to that one, the one dollar. So I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. All right. Secondly, I'm going to talk about some Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to zero. Bitcoin is dead. If you guys have not uh, heard this from Dan Pena, this is like the most popular thing when ever you know, Bitcoin, there's a lot of FUD going on, or we bottom out, or get close to the bottom, at least in my opinion, this always resurfaces. So just play this for you guys real quick. It is my humble opinion, and there's nothing humble about me. Bitcoin will go to fucking zero. So <laughs> he's just some old boomer, never believed in Bitcoin and whatnot, but uh, he believes Bitcoin is going to zero, and if you really truly knew who was behind Bitcoin, according to him, he believes it was Putin. It's Putin. Uh, and it's some conspiracy, I guess, that's going back seven, eight years ago. There's a whole plan. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into it, but uh, that's where Bitcoin's going to zero. Also, if you guys don't know about this, Bitcoin has died 448 times in the existence of Bitcoin. Uh, this is 99bitcoins.com, and an, here is the Bitcoin price, and every single one of these shows kind of an article of Bitcoin dying or like one of the worst times. Like So this past year, one just came out a couple days ago, the 9th of May. Crypto is dead, the spectator. You can click on this, and then it'll tell you the whole article and whatnot. Also, you know, when we always have these big dips, even like going back to last summer, Bitcoin's headed for zero. The next Bitcoin crash will be really bad. All the mainstream media essentially is starting to put out FUD, kind of an indicator in my opinion that we might have reached bottom. And these last couple days have been absolutely crazy. I kind of get that feeling. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Bitcoin has died 448 times. But uh, not much the last three months. Articles, there was Bitcoin, we're not up for the greater fools. Crypto is like a venereal <laughs> disease. But uh, yeah, the most recently one was at thirty thousand two hundred ninety-six dollars. Crypto's dead from the spectator. But I thought that'd be that's something interesting you guys would uh, get a kick out of. Also, Forbes put out an article today that's not on there, but going to zero. Panic is sweeping crypto markets, hitting the price of Bitcoin, ETH, BNB, XRP, Cardano, Solana, Terra, Luna, and Avalanche. Doesn't say VGX though. <laughs> All right, so jumping into a couple tweets about Bitcoin, some more hopium. I'm still bullish, like I said. Uh, this is from Miles J. Creative. He's saying, time to buy or time to sell? I'll leave it with you, Anon. So you can see this little channel from the Bitcoin, the history here, all the way back from 2010, that it's been following in this channel perfectly right now. And right now where we're currently at, we've kind of bottomed out along this channel. Can it go below the channel? Yeah. Look where it did. It went below during the March 2020 COVID crash, kind of went down there, it looks like, for a week or two or whatever, but then eventually came back up when we had the that big giant run-up we had uh, in 2021. Same thing, it looks like it happened back here in, what is this, early 2015. We wicked below it, but we've traveled along this trend line throughout the course of history. So can we go lower? Definitely could. We can go lower, but if history and this data is accurate, I could potentially see a bounce to the upside. Next tweet from probably one of the only bullish uh, in people on influencers, whatever you want to call it, on Twitter is from the Aurelian Ohayan. Don't even know how to pronounce that. But there also is a bullish falling wedge pattern going on with Bitcoin. And it most likely, if we do break out of it, we could see a breakout to the upside in the coming weeks. You guys can see it right here where we just slowly wicked below this trend line here. But 
you know, as a falling wedge. Hopefully in the coming weeks, we'll end up breaking out of it. And again, I'm still bullish. As long as I'm looking at the weekly now, uh, daily, I think, closed a little bit below some of these wicks from the summer lows we had last last year. But this trend line right here, I'm saying if, if we hold this trend line, we're good. But all eyes are going to be on the weekly if we do close below around like the 29.5, 29,000. It's not going to look good for Bitcoin. All right. The next thing on the Bitcoin daily time frame. So he's saying, this is from Blue Crypto, lower lows established. The resistance is this pink solid line. Right here is our resistance line, about $36,064. Support is at the 61.8 green fib line right here at 28291 So it looks like we, you know, we wicked a little bit below that, made a lower low, and came back up above that. But if we can hold above that 28291 that's going to be uh, the, the support line for Bitcoin. I think we're going to be good. But if support fails, then probability of Bitcoin will retest the next support at that 61.8 fib is very high. So as long as we stay above that support line, I think we're still doing well. But we're right at this just pivotal moment, I feel like, here in the next you know, week, couple weeks, where it's either going to break down to the downside and it's we're just wrecked. We're at a bear, big, long bear trend, bear market, or we're going to break out of this, this bearish trend that we've had basically since the middle of November. So only time will tell people. I'm still staying positive. Trying to be positive. I'm not being bearish at all. Still got that hopium. All right, next tweet is a lot of people are talking about the 200-day moving average. Every single time in the course of Bitcoin's history that we've touched this 200 moving average, that has indicated a bottom and that we potentially go to the upside after that. We have not touched the 200 MA. The, the 200 MA is roughly between 22,000 and 24,000 dollar bitcoin so if we do break that previous resistance that fib level that i was talking about and we do end up towards the downside we'll touch that hopefully 200 ma and then have a breakout to the upside that's what we had the last four times it hit the 200 ma in the course of bitcoin's history so also keep that in the back of your head we do have that and what a lot of other people are saying that if we break this resistance that that 28,000, what was it 28,291, we should hopefully touch that 200 MA. That'll indicate the bottom. Boom, breakout. And I'll cheers to that one. And then lastly, we got the Elliott Wave Theory. And this is from TechDev, who apparently has taken a three-week break from one of his last tweets. But he did a 2010-2013 comparison and then the 2016 up until now. Well, if you look at both of these, the lines on here, it looks pretty similar from 2010 to 2013, from 2016 to now. So he's got the one, two, three, four, five. You can see the one was where we peaked out in 2017. Two was the bottom and what was that, like 2019 time frame. Uh, three was that first 2021 peak out we had. Four is where we're at now. And then boom. Five is what we're hopefully looking towards next. And I know a lot of other people believe in the Elliott Wave Theory, Norris Digital uh, News. I follow him on Twitter and on YouTube. He's still thinking that the Elliott Wave Theory Wave 5 is still in play. So also keep an eye on that where hopefully we are at the bottom area, whether that we hit the 200 moving average or right where we're at right now. We come up, we break from that 28,000. Uh, I keep forgetting it. 28,291 level. Hopefully we start moving to the upside. And that's all I got for you guys. Bitcoin updates. Last thing I do want to talk about is Voyager real quick. So they did announce the winner for their board ape, their mutant board ape. And congratulations to, he's a VGX hero, far from Pukin. I don't know exactly what his VGX hero name is. I'll give you a follow for that one here live on the stream. But, uh... Yeah, congrats, man. That's awesome. Let's see. Current floor price of the Mutant Apes are, let's see. I think they sold it for about 17.5 Ethereum. Current floor price is about 19.49 Ethereum. 
uh, which is roughly, let's just see what the lowest one is right now. I don't, I don't even know how much Ethereum is off the top of my head. And, of course, my internet's going really slow. Don't you just love why I don't edit any of my videos? Here we go. It's all just straight shooting from the hip. That's what I love. So, $41,934. So he could turn around and sell that, you know, at the floor price if someone does buy it. Depending on the rarity traits, I think it's around ten to 12000 out of the entire collection for rarity-wise. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head, but I looked it up the other day. So, congratulations. And then, uh, real quick as well, going back to the Luna UST, that Voyager did make a statement, just like a couple other exchanges, to clarify for the community, Voyager has zero exposure to UST. We only hold Luna on behalf of our customers and have never held it on our balance sheet as an investment. And I know before all this crazy stuff happened, people were begging Steve to get UST into the platform. Not sure if that's going to happen anymore. Just my opinion. But there were other communities and other exchanges that were doing it. Gemini came out with something, and I do believe Coinbase, there was something that they said as well because they don't want anything to do to deal with it. And whatnot so just a fy if you guys didn't know that but that's pretty much all i have for you guys go ahead and follow me on tiktok at crypto airborne just search me i should pop right up been trying to upload uh videos every now and then on there and then also you know follow me on twitter at crypto underscore airborne that's where i do all my real-time updates and whatnot and uh yeah it's just a big waiting game right now i don't know what's gonna go with bitcoin but we're just at that pivotal moment and i keep bringing you guys some hopium here but uh, like i said if we break that 28 2 level hopefully we go down to the 200 moving average we bounce that because like i said the last couple of times in history bitcoin's history that we've touched that that's indicated the bottom for the next run up but who knows hopefully we've shaken out a lot of the weak hands out of the paper hands the last couple of days and we're gonna see a nice upside here soon also, if you guys are into the astrology, I do know we have a full moon this weekend. Usually, once we hit full moons, uh, that's about the time when we start pumping, and then we dump into the new moon. Also, I believe there's a lunar eclipse, too. And Maren Altman, if you follow her, she's saying that all this crap's going to come to an end, hopefully, this weekend, based off her astronomy or whatever. And she's been pretty accurate in the past with a lot of the stuff that she's been saying. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt as well. That's all I have for you guys. Smash that thumbs up button on your way out. Consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed. And lastly, turn on those bell notifications so you guys get notified as soon as I upload a video. Cheers to you guys. Stay strong out there. Stay positive. Go for a walk. You know, don't forget your mental health. And it's not worth doing something stupid you're going to regret ever, <laughs> whatever that may be. So stay positive, guys. My DMs are open. Crypto Airborne, out. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah.